international football is dying. And it's dying because of the Premier League. And you, you see players pulling out. And, stuff, and I've, been, I've been to five side tonight. I've laid with ice on my ankle and a couple of beers. Oh, what happened? What happened? Uh, I just saw my ankle taking a shot. I'm not, oh, not going to do it. I've got to strap him up, Carl. Was it on a 3G, Carl? Yeah, yeah, yeah 3G. Well, mm. 4G. But I've got a big game Saturday, so I'm trying to get ice on it. So, pop 40. Strap pop the ankle. Go get yourself, get some strap in. Strap it up. I guarantee yeah, you, Carl, you're going to be out there, though, aren't you? You're going to be out no, there be and you're going to give yeah, everything. Yeah, of course you will. Yeah, I'll be playing because I love it. But of course you will. I've been, watching, I've been watching England for the last two or three years and we travel down to the friendlies, stuff like that, and we're coming from Barnsley. It takes two and a half hours, three hours to get there. And the worst part about England games is actually the game because <laughs> you, can, you can tell that nobody wants to be there, especially in these poor friendlies. International football is dying, especially top end with big players. And I, and I get it. Because these international friendlies, the, for me, they're useless. They're useless. Go and play the top four or five sides in a friendly and get some, get something out. Of it. I just think it's Playing a disrespect. It. One to Lee Carsley and one to and one to the country and, and to England. Yeah, the, the fact that. because if Gareth Southgate was the yeah. gaffer, these players wouldn't have, wouldn't have pulled out. If Thomas Tuchel yeah, took over these yeah. two games, they wouldn't have yeah, pulled out. Yeah. I guarantee it. Guarantee yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But, so, answer me this, it's just why a complete it, disrespect to everyone around it. Why hasn't Tuchel been put in charge now? We don't know his, the, the, the no, rulings no, on his no, contract no, the before. De- the decision has been made. All right, let's just deal with it. Tuchel's not going to take charge until the 1st of January. It is It is what it is, okay? Yeah. But there are, there are yeah. games coming up for these players and the managers and the fans that are huge for Liverpool, Chelsea, Arsenal. Spurs, Man City. Exactly, the Man, Premier League you know, is ruining. Yeah, no, no, but I know, but the, these aren't you. These aren't actually friendlies. It's the Nations League, but they're glorified friendlies. They don't, yeah. in the great scheme of things, they really they're not that important. The biggest games they're now. Not, I, I agree, they're not important. They're not that, they're not, and you can't. We will not get anything out of playing Greece and mm. playing the lesser teams. It's, it's we won't get anything out. Of it. If we win four nil, we're expected to win four nil. If we win one nil. Then we're rubbish again. <laughs> we're rubbish and again. Y- yeah, well, we are. We get to <laughs> latter stages of tournaments mm. and we fail. So mm. something's wrong. And if players are dropping out, like you, like well, Ben White's come back in, but if lots of players are dropping out, then obviously they don't see him as important. Stuart Pearce wouldn't have dropped out in England friendly, even if he'd rolled his hands. No, but the, like ga- the game, is, but Stuart Pearce, right? I used to go out watching Stuart Pearce, and Stuart Pearce was, if you had to try and sum up an England player at that time, you'd say Stuart Pearce, right? But things have changed now. Stuart What's Pearce, changed? with the wages and, and, the, and the amount of games that are played now, especially if you're playing Champions League games, right? There's another yeah. extra couple of games thrown in. You oh, a couple more... of games. No, boo no, no, but Jay, but Jay, there's a Club World Cup coming up. Honestly, oh, boo hoo. You've got... No one cares about the Club World Cup. Well, no, but the clubs are forced to go. You wait, because from what we know, there's going to be teams. Man City going to go. Chelsea have got to go. Real Madrid have got to go. These games are. The... See, realistically, the amount of games that have added on, football was asked for this. They've seen the players come out and say how many games there are. There's no... You look what's coming up. It's going to be midweek weekend, midweek weekend, right for about six weeks, right? If there's, if you need a break, now's the time to have it. And unfortunately, a Nations League game, mate, against Finland and the Republic. It's I'm, not just not the biggest deal. The, it's just not for these players. Okay. Club World Cup qualifiers... Sorry, World Cup qualifiers, different. OK, well, let's hear from England captain, captain of England, Harry Kane... He's been speaking ahead of the game with Brees tomorrow, live on TalkSport. He was asked what he made of the nine players withdrawing from the squad. Every camp, people were excited to come. Every camp, people wanted to play for England. And yeah, that's the most important thing. I think England comes before anything. England comes before club. England is the most important you know, thing you, you play as a professional footballer. So, um, And Gareth was you know, hot on that. And uh, he weren't afraid to make decisions if you know, that started to drift from, from certain players. It's a shame this week. Obviously, um, it's a tough period of the season. And maybe, yeah, maybe there's been a taken advantage of that a little bit. I don't really like it, if I'm totally honest. I think, like I just said there, I think England comes before anything, any club situation. Yeah, that was uh, Harry Kane speaking on ITV earlier. Um, that's the England captain there, Jase. Yeah. 
He's the captain. He's got to lead by example, isn't he? he can't pull out. Okay. It's slightly different for him. But like, oh, oh, no, no, that's hold on. fine. He's not leading by example. That's uh, why he's the captain. Fine. And I don't, and again, that's why we love Harry Kane, right? That's why we love Harry Kane. But disappointing, every, mate. Every, when I, every, when, when every, I hear that from the England it's, captain, it's, it's, it actually disappoints me that yeah, that. Yeah. that these players have, yeah, they have. You know what? He's not stupid, and he's come out and said it. And he's on. You know what? I've got legals, Jay. They, they've, u- they've used it. They've used it as an excuse to give it a rest. Jay, give this Jay, one a miss. Jay. Gareth Southgate wouldn't have had it. Thomas Tuchel wouldn't have it. Got niggles. But you know what? I, you know, I don't fancy this one. Well, no, but the FA have asked for it as well by having an interim manager. Should have sorted this out after Southgate went. Why didn't they, why didn't they get Thomas Tuchel in straight away? Why were they far arsing about? Why? Because now they've asked for this. The FA, you want to really have a look at someone, blame the FA. Because they gave it to Carsley, didn't know what was going on, didn't... Ex- T- Tuchel's been there in front of their face the whole time. Now, all of a sudden, they give it to him for three games, then they come up with Tuchel. Now they're wondering why people pulled out. Why? Because the FA have shown no leadership. The FA have shown that they don't know how to point the manager. Why should the players do it? I don't blame the players one little bit, mate. Honestly, I feel for Lee Carsley... The FA have got to look at themselves and say, do you know what? We, we help cause this mess. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday nights from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.